hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to learn to create something cool this unique over effect let's jump straight to it all right guys so we have a blank figma page first thing first we are going to create a frame right a desktop frame i'm going to make it dark color why because the effects are going to be working on maybe a little bit light right? so contrast really good so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have this. Then um, we'll play our prototype and see how we can. So okay, now we have this Surface Pro, this tablet thing. I like to use this as my prototype settings. In case you want to change this to maybe just a normal desktop um, prototype frame, you can just come to your prototype section here, show prototype settings, and you know, pick whatever device you want. You can say. Um, none, right? Or you could say custom and set whatever you want it to be. But for me, I'm using my Surface Pro. So we have this. Okay, right. So basically, let's call this home. That's even like a thing. Okay. Right. So what you saw is that I made use of. We're going to be slicing micro interaction here, right? So first thing first, we'll create a. We could even do it inside the board, really. To create a circle, an ellipse, right? Go to your design section. You want to create, um, you want to set the color, the fill to angular. So you have something like this. Really cool. Okay. We could work with this, right? Straight up, or we could change it to something even better. So we could say, in the middle of all of this, we could create something like this. Like, okay, so let me explain what I did. I just clicked here, a new point will be created. I could make this one dark, right? Say, increase the opacity. Then here, I could make all of this light. You know, just, and you see this, I get this gray feeling. <clears throat> I get this black in the middle. And the reason that is, so when I give it a blur effect, it can make more, it can make sense in terms of the effect. You see, real soon. So yeah, we have this. So secondly, you get to go to your, you, you add an effect, right? You change the option to layer blur, right? Then you can increase the intensity of the blur. Like you see this, okay. Is that too much? Is it not so much? But like it, to find out. So yeah, we have this. Really cool. Really, really, really cool. So I did something that you, you could, if you want to give it like a more um, embossed effect you could just use I, I did like how i did mine was i just draw a line right then use double click on the line that activated my curve in my curve edit object tool and i held my control key and you know made it like just a little bit curve like this right so i have that that i could duplicate it something like this i could duplicate it then flip it how I flip it was right. Uh, I, I use Shift Y as shortcut for Windows system. Um, or you could just come here and say flip directly, right? So you could you could make it or something like this. Maybe even duplicate it more. Mm, that's the one 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 is good. Then then I could copy and paste again. Then just you know flip something like this. Then. Duplicate this and flip. If you flip this by say shift H or just right click and go flip. Now you have this, you see, if you have it feels already like it's, it's like it's, it's it's coming outside. That kind of feeling, yeah. So you can actually play around with it and make it better and make it better, right? So yeah. So just group that because we're going to like have to reduce the opacity somewhere. As we go on so yes so basically that's that's all we need that's really all we need yeah we can even reduce the opacity it's like 60 or 40 right it blends in we there are different maybe there, there are like filter options we could explore but like hey well, let's just go ahead already highlight it and turn it into a component create a component right so of course when you want to work with interaction you need you know you need a variant right so you just click on this plus hard variant it do this for you right 
and say you can click inside and say opacity should be zero you see that now after that you can now say okay from this connect this to this to the, to the variant to the variant and i want it to be on hover while hovering smart animate right basically i think that's it like you that's it you could actually play with size and say and you know reduce this one so i just clicked on the second variant and click my enter key it will select its child element or its child element and if you just reduce the size a little bit right so like why hoping on it becomes bigger okay so like yeah we got that and so let's take it outside and drag it in see what i did so normally you would go to your asset and you know just find that thing you created that over effect and just bring it here but you you could also just click on this copy from here and paste right or you could just drag it in that drag an instance like you i just held i held my Make sure you hold your alt key while, while dragging because if you do not, you just drag it out of the master component. So this video is getting long. Let's go fast. All right. So right, we'll be starting from to so we'll swap it to variant two because we need it from to come from no opacity to having opacity. Okay, from invisible to visible, basically. So yes, we have that. Let's play the prototype and see how it works. Is it working? Is it working? No no so let's confirm if there is anything wrong okay remember we did from here to here so we're supposed to do from here to here right so let's let's let's, let's get that right so yeah white hovering smart animate from here now you can remove the interaction here by just clicking on them you know click on the minus i think we made a mistake so you know how to fix problems like that right so basically that's it if you come here now you see this anyway so that's like what we have so you can actually just um so usually you could just say duplicate all through you could just you know just just duplicate it around through and duplicate it again right so like like how is that even perfect i wonder how for you then just duplicate like this like this, like this. You could group it to make it really neat in case you have any playlist of in mind. And you see, we have this. So you see all of this space here. It's up to you to just make it bigger. So what I would do, so I had a suggestion from Stephanie from Twitter. She said if I want to make it way more smooth, I should make it bigger. You can actually just increase the size and you know, duplicate it and say, see, just highlight it and make sure it hits the wall of the frame. So they won't exceed you so yeah now duplicate duplicate so you see so yes this is a bonus tip you can always just come here um i like all the child elements in your master frame and you can group it and then lock it right so when you want to put any text here it will not affect they, they would not um, what's the word they would not you know jam each other if you understand what i mean so yes so basically it still works right it still works so yeah we can just say we can just put a quick text and say unique So yeah so you can do this you can also come over here and reduce the opacity of the whole the entire group so it's not too loud so you see it's subtle it doesn't contrast right so guys um right thank you again okay explore go deeper thank you very much for being here see you in my next video